Ever used the shield stratagem before? It's not too shabby. Oh, matey! Alright, let's break it down. This is one of the most underrated and strongest stratagems in the entire game and everyone's sleeping on it. In this video, we're going to be talking about what this stratagem really excels at. Defense does way more than what you think. Luring enemies makes clearing nests and fabricators a lot easier, let alone safer evacuations. Offense, bar titans, charges, the incredible synergies this also has with other stratagems. And at the end of the video, we'll have a showcase of all these put together with some commentary just to show how incredible this stratagem is. We all know this stratagem excels in defense. That's its main intended purpose. It's a giant shield most commonly used against the automatons. It protects you from range attacks and it does so incredibly well. But maybe what you didn't know is that it's just as effective against the Terminids too. And there's a cheeky yet important mechanic you may not know about. Just like the automatons, the shield generator relay protects you from all manner of range attacks when fighting the Terminids. Many of these range attacks from the Terminids are instantly fatal, making the stratagem's defensive capabilities an ace in the hole when surrounded by those that mean you sweet acidic home. Get some! Get some! Fun fact that'll get those jimmies rustled. It's also capable of stopping a charger's rush attack, allowing for easy disposal with your flamethrower or other weaponry on hand. Alright, hear me out. I know it's going to sound strange to yeet one of your defensive stratagems right into the enemy, but doing so provides so many opportunities due to the incredible tanking capabilities of the shield generator relay. You're getting overwhelmed and need a retreat? Pikachu, I choose you. Enemies are spread out and you have limited firepower? Team Rocket's blasting off again, Sunshine. You're infiltrating a heavily guarded nest and want to keep most of the enemies to one side? Nana's got your back. There's so much potential for offensive and defensive plays, the sky's the limit for how you want to coordinate with your teammates to make the most of these decoys. Getting to the meaty bit. This stratagem's absolutely cracked for offensive opportunities when used alongside the benefits of the previous points we just covered. Grouping enemies together before bobbing them all at once. Have a taste of democracy. Hunkering down in the shield, eliminating all charges of the dare come near you. Ah, oh, and killing Baltons. Lots of them. How does this work? Well, pretty simple. With precise positioning of our stratagem and batting the Baltine at the appropriate time, we're able to get the shield up to reflect the acid directly back into the Baltine's face. Soon I'll be releasing a video going in depth about how to do this. And here we have the final showcase, putting everything we know together for this solo level on Helldive difficulty fight with a bit of live commentary. Charger tries to make his way through, does so unsuccessfully. Burn down into bacon, love to see it. We've got another two Chargers spawning on the way. Barton also spawns with a whole heap of enemies from behind. We now need to make sure that we need to focus the Charger in front of us, otherwise things will get hectic. I've got the flamethrower. I've got the right positioning, we can do it. Shield's about to break, nothing wrong with that. Enemies grouped up together. 400 kg on the way. Charger, looking pretty weak, close to being killed. Got flanked there on the side, but it doesn't matter because we're alive. And then we can just finish off the remainder. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you know, we have another video on the way that's going to be showcasing the process on how to actually use the shield to reflect the acid back into the Battle Titan's face. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? After watching the video, do you think you're more likely to use the shield generator relay? And if not, what are some of the setups you guys are running at the moment and how do you think it's working for you? I'd love to hear it and see the, uh, the old cheeky things that you guys have been coming up with because I'm sure there's a lot. Anyways guys, that's it for me. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.